This audio series is the property of the radio advertising people. Use of this audio is restricted and permission must be sought before use. This audio series is rated 80. Contains strong language. Parental guidance is advised. Episode 5 Sanja, I had to do everything I could to get her out. Later that night, when Ifwa went to bed, I called Mr. Ankara. It was a do or die affair. Sir. Yes, mommy, I can hear you. Sir, I'm begging no, you. No, mommy, this is not an option I'm at all. I'm begging you in heaven's name. Please. I'm sorry, but her case is too far advanced to do anything about it. <sighs> Mr. Ankara, please. No, I'm no, no, I'm sorry. You. I'm sorry. I'm begging you, sir. Sandra narrated everything to me. She didn't take the money. Oh, she has to prove that in court tomorrow. Mommy, listen, the money she stole was a, was huge. $15,000. Oh, so, she, she didn't steal the money. Please, Mr. Hunker, please. They are raping us there. Mommy, Mommy, please. it's late. Let's talk in the morning. Mr. Hunker sounded like a very strict man. He hung up on me. I was quite surprised. That night, I cried. Because if I thought of what they did to us in that place, it was just terrible. I needed to do something about this, so I went to wake Ifwa up to talk to him. Later that morning, around 11 a.m., which was after court hours, I saw Mr. Ankara's number calling. Hello? Hello? Hello, Mame? Sandra? Yes, yes, it's me, Mame. Sandra? Yes, Unan, eh. Mame, it is me. Oh my God, Sandra, wait, you're talking to me on Mr. Ankara's phone? Yes, he told me about you, mommy. I don't know how else to thank you, mommy. You saved me. Oh my God, Sandra, what happened? Which one? The court or you mean the prison? Oh boy, like, tell me. Mommy, well, for the court, Mr. Anka said he wants to withdraw the case and make it an out-of-court settlement. Can you imagine? Oh, he did? Yes, he did. Thanks to you. He mentioned your name and said you spoke about it. Mommy, thank you. You. Yes, I, I did. I, I begged him to release you. Wow. Mr. Ankara, so he, he listened after all. But Sandra, where, where did they take you? Because you vanished. I, I even thought they had killed you or something. Hmm. Mame, I even wish I had died. They sent me to some far place. I went to work with some man, Bill. Hey, the way he abused me, eh? Hmm. Sexually? Everything, some mommy. Everything. But, mommy, I have a seven-month-old son. You gave birth? Fortunately or unfortunately, yes, I gave birth. For the man? Yes. He wanted me to abort it, but I begged him to let me keep it. Ah. <clears throat> and didn't he report it to, to the prison? Well, initially he wanted to, but I begged him and told him I wouldn't bother him with taking care of hey. the baby. I, I actually told him I would take full responsibility. Wow. Yeah. He made us sign the contract. Why, right, mommy? He made wow. us sign the contract. Okay, and mommy, I have to go now. Mr. Anka wants his phone. I will take your number from him and call you, okay? I, m- I miss you. Okay, okay, okay. Sure, sure. I'll be waiting for your call. Call me. I will, mommy. I will. <sighs> Mr. Anka. Oh, God bless you. Ah, don't worry. God bless you. Thank you, Seth. Thank you so much. I didn't do it for free, though. We'll talk later. I'll call you. At least, I had saved a soul. I saved Sandra. Life wasn't going to be easy for her, but at least, it was better than being in jail. I had my own headaches to deal with. The following day, Mr. Anka called me very early in the morning. He asked if I was ready with my decision. I knew he wasn't ready for any kind of trouble, so I had to give in. I was going to court to stand trial for deliberately causing an innocent girl to be raped. And for Mr. Ankara, he wasn't ready to get himself mixed up with any kind of personal issues I had. And I also didn't want to owe him any more favors because he had already committed to paying my final year school fees. So I didn't bother asking him money to pay for my legal fees. Ifwa said she had put almost all her money in treasury bills, so she couldn't get me the money now. I was going to find a lawyer and some money. 
I was caught up in the stress. When I saw Koei calling me again, oh God, I'm dead. I gave you 24 hours to return to me. Koei, Koei, I'm sorry. You're sorry? Sorry for what? You will pay for your actions, Jesse Mammy Lindsay. Koei, you wouldn't understand me. Understand you? Koei, I, I just needed some time alone. You, you needed some time alone? Koei, please. You are playing with your life. Baby, please. Don't you dare use that filthy word on me ever again. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But Corey, listen to me. I, I just needed some time alone. I'm, I'm emotionally not okay. So you decided to run away? I wasn't running away per se. You said this. I am sorry, but I have to leave. Thank you so much for everything. Corey, I, I know. I know I wrote that to you, but I, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Mommy. Really, I am. I got your potential. Pathetic ass out of prison. I put you in a fucking mansion. I paid your school fees. I changed your entire fucking wardrobe. I brought you a brand new Mercedes. I went on my fucking knees to propose marriage. And what did you do? You steal my money. Corey, I'm sorry, Corey. I'm so sorry. Now you listen to me and you listen very carefully. Corey. Shut the fuck up when I am talking. You cannot hide from me. Never. Neat. I know everything you plan before you think of it. Now listen, I have spent a total of $300,000 paying for the fucking house, that fucking car, and your school fees and fucking bribe to get your ass out of prison. Now I want my money back. You will pay me, and I don't care how. What? Or I swear you will rot in jail. Corey, I will please. make you no. suffer Corey. like never before. No, please. I, I, don't, I don't do this. There's no way I can pay you. Jesse, Mommy Lindsay, don't try me. If you fuck with me, I will make you suffer ten times more than you have suffered in your entire pathetic life. Corey, Do you understand me? There's no way I can pay you. Do not make me come for you. Cory, Cory, wait. Hello, Cory, Cory. On this day, I remember. I felt like dying. I knew I had to see him in person. Maybe he would calm down because I knew he loved me. How was I supposed to pay money I hadn't seen before? The legal fees was going to cost me about 4000 in total. I had to find it. Ah, mommy, where are you going to? Are you parking? Before I, I have to go to the city. I, I, I don't have any option now. Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. Mommy, don't act without a plan. I have a plan. Look, Efa, Corey says I should pay him back all the money he spent on me. Is he mad? Yes, exactly. And how does he expect you to pay that money? Mommy, you don't owe him jack. I don't, but these people are ruthless, Efa. I know what I went through in the prison. But you don't need to be afraid. He can't do anything to you. Yes, he can. He did. And he will do it again. We'll report him to the police. The police? Efua, the police together with my father and Erica's dad put me in hell. I was raped countless times, every day and every night. The same police who drove me to the north raped me halfway on the journey. The same Corey impregnated me and they took my baby out of me. They took my baby out of me, Efua. It was the police. Now tell me if I should I'm trust sorry. the police. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get you upset. It's fine. I didn't mean to shout on you either. I'm sorry. It's just that... Mm. This thing is really upsetting me. So, where are you going to now? I'm going to court in five days. I need to get a lawyer and pay as well. I'm going to see Corey in person. But you said this guy was going to hurt you. I'm going to give it a try, if what? I need 20,000 by tomorrow. You know you really don't have to go. If I sit here, I'll go to the court and just end up in jail in a week. Okay, I guess your mind is made up. Just... Take care of yourself, please. I will, and thank you for everything. At least, I, I know I can count on you. Aha, uh -huh, um, do you have Sewa's number? Sewa? No, I, I don't. I haven't spoken to her in a while, but what do you need it for? Um, an interview. Or you're not comfy with that? Oh, it's fine. It's, it's not like I have something against that. But for real, I don't have it. I have to go now. I'll call you. All right, dear. Take care. So that was it. I left the first place. I was on my way to the city. I had to show up in court. My lawyer also needed to be paid before any representations could be made in court. 
or else I was going to be on my own and that would mean straight to prison, trust me. After a three hour journey, I was in the city. I was thinking of going to sleep at Mike's place, but I wasn't ready for that explanations and drama. So I went to book a motel for three nights. When I got into the room, I started making calls. I really needed to pay the legal fee. Hi lawyer, this is mommy. Hmm, uh, lawyer, I'm not okay. Oh. I'm still struggling lawyer. Hmm, okay, I'll get back to you. Sure lawyer, I will. Lawyer, I swear on my mother's grave. I had no idea. I suspect Johnny, the guy who booked the hotel, but he claims he had no hand in it. Lawyer, if I tell you how difficult things are for me, eh? I was getting desperate. Very. I needed to raise 4,000 CDs in five days. All kinds of ideas started running through my mind. If you are a girl and you are desperate, the one truth you hate to admit stares at you in the face, sell your body for money. The names that came to mind were Derek, my former lecturer, Johnny or even Rodney. I thought through a lot and I decided to call Derek. I was going to try my luck. Uh, hello? Derek. Uh, yes, Derek here. Who's this? Derek, this is Mommy. Huh? <laughs> wow. Jesse, Mommy, Lindsay. Yes, Derek. It's me. This is unbelievable. <sighs> it, it's been a while. Yes, I guess so. How have you been? Well, you know, work, work, work. I, I see. So... I heard about the imprisonment. Yeah. I know I know you're innocent. The judges think otherwise. You're going back to court, isn't it? Yes, next week. Mommy, I'm sorry once again. Don't feel sorry for me. I'm I'm cool. I bet you did what you wanted to do to me. I never asked Max to rape you. Why would I? Mr. Asante whispered into my ears that she sent them. Derek. I'm in mean, all this mess because of you. It was Max who brought this whole confusion. We were just chatting and I told him about us and what you did to me. What I did to you? What did I do to you? Derek, tell me. What exactly did I do to you? Say so what lied to you and you believed her. Exactly. And since then, I've been trying to reach out to you, mommy. I sent you 10k and you rejected it. You think 10k is enough to say sorry? At least I tried, mommy. Okay. I want it back. <laughs> I used it up. Are you telling me you don't have 10k? You, Derek. Oh, come on. I have my own good days and bad days, mommy. I'm also paying up a bunch of loans now, so I'm, I'm, I'm a bit tight. <sighs> I see. So, if I may ask, who are you dating now? <laughs> but why, why do you want to know? Just like old times, just like how it's all begun, here I was, about to flirt with Derek again. I was desperate, and like they say, desperate times calls for desperate measures. I'm just surprised you want to know who I'm dating. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just wondering what you, you've been up to after fucking me and my roommate. Don't, don't make it sound deliberate. Whatever, Derek. So... <laughs> Mommy, if I had a chance to see you right now, I miss you. And yes, of course, I miss your body. The truth is always the best. You just want to have sex with me. I know. I miss you as well. I miss when we were together. If we have sex today, trust me, I know that will be the end. You won't call uh, me again. Stop thinking negative. You know I love you. So, if you saw me now, what will you do? Tell me. How about you let me pick you up right now and show you? Then, just like old times, I'll let you pay to see me. In that case, if you don't call me again... At least, I know I also benefited. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, okay, all right. How much is that? Because, like I said, I'm broke. Okay, if you can't get me 10K, then send 6K. <laughs> ah, mommy. Okay, 3K. Deal. 
Send it to me. I'm sending you my location now. So that's how I got the money to sort out my lawyer. I got to Derek's house. Of course, he had broken up with Casey and he had moved out to get his own place. When I got there, we went inside and he gave me a drink. I went to use the washroom. I had shaved up nicely because I knew what I was about to do. Desperation and depression can lead you into the worst things. Derek was already naked when I came out of the washroom. He was sitting in the couch with a hat on. Oh my days. This guy was huge. When I say huge, I mean very huge. Hmm. Aren't you ready for me? Because I'm ready. So you wouldn't even consider just giving me the money without us doing this? <laughs> It's not about the money for me, mommy. I love you. And I just want to have sex. Mm. That's it, period. Okay. So I undressed in front of him. When it got to my panties, Derek asked me not to remove it. He walked up to me and tore it. Oh, what are you doing? Shh. Allow me. Sit on the table. Hmm. Okay. Why did I look on your face? You don't look happy. Because I'm not in the mood. But I am. Derek, just let's finish this and give me the money, okay? Mommy, stop this. Again, like I said, I love you. And I know sex traumatizes you. But I just, I just want us to be together again. Just you know? fuck me and let me go. Then he started. He did his thing as usual. Legs open, sitting on the table, my hands behind me. Derek had no mercy on me. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Dang. Derek had sex with me till he was satisfied and he came in me. You're gonna take the pill, right? And if it doesn't work? I'm not ready to have a kid now, mommy. But, you know, make sure it works. Anyways, where are you staying? I'm going to book a hotel, unless you don't mind if I stay overnight. Oh, not at all. You can. So I spent the next couple of days at Derek's house. And just like yeah. what Joey did to me, mm. I had to pay yeah. the night with sex. Yeah. Yeah. Don't think for a second that I'm enjoying this. I'm in a lot of pain. A lot. But hey, what can I do? No mother, no father. Just me. Against this unfair world. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah.